Good morning, people. Here again is Upstream Health with Ify. I hope you all are doing very well and enjoying my videos. So today we're gonna be talking about the reason, some of the reasons why we wake up with a sudden high heart rate. Like, have you ever suddenly woken up in the night and your heart is racing? Or beating very fast like you can feel it when you place your palms on your heart here and it's boom 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 have you ever woken up to feel like that and that creates a lot of scare I've had that like twice in the past and I believe the first time I had that I was so scared because I didn't even know what it was and then I didn't even have I had low literacy in health issues at that time so I went straight to the emergency room and the doctor simply performed what we call a Vassava maneuver and my heart rate like magically dropped so we have different causes so I believe mine I can trace now to eating a very high fatty diet at that, I remember that day I ate fried planting i ate fried deep fried planting that was about i think uh nine or ten years ago i ate fried planting i used to love fried planting i ate that a lot late in the night before i went to bed so let's go over some of the causes of abnormal or let's say we we'll call it tachycardia, high racing heartbeat. So there are so many causes, which I'm going to be listing some of them here. But let us put aside, there are worse scenarios that could be related to heart disease. So if you have like a heart disease, that is a different one. Okay, that is a different issue. But now I'm talking about like those who saw that you don't have an underlying heart disease. You know you don't have an underlying heart disease. And suddenly you woke up in the night with a racing heartbeat. Like when you check it, it's going to be over the hundreds, like 120s, 130s. I remember mine was in the 160s or thereabout. So our normal heart rate is 60 to 100. At a resting state, like right, just like the way I'm sitting right now, I should have a heart rate of 60, say to 80. Maybe if you're walking around, you should have it up in the 80s or in the high 90s. Okay, so normal 60 to 100. So what part of our body controls heart rate? So the autonomic nervous system, which is a part of the central nervous system, controls the heart rate, the blood pressure, respiration, sexual arousals, so all and digestion. So the autonomic nervous system. So whatever triggers the autonomic nervous system directly or indirectly or affects our heart pacemaker directly or indirectly can cause uh, abnormal uh, heart rate. So we're talking now about heart rates above hundreds, tachycardia, racing heart rate. If you suddenly wake up in the night and you feel that, I want you to look at this list and see where you fall in and if that's a behavior you've been um you have been um you have been finding yourself in then you can know what to do or what not to do what you need to eliminate okay so number one we have like i said when you consume a fatty diet before bedtime that can increase pressure in your digestive system especially for the gallbladder so pressure in the gallbladder can cause a racing heartbeat, okay? And if you also eat a large portion of meal before you, late before you go to bed, that can cause an abnormal or racing heartbeat, okay? And when I say a racing heartbeat, I just want to differentiate it from what we call palpitation. So palpitation is different from a racing heartbeat. So palpitation is like when your heartbeat skips or it beats abnormally, like irregular, like you feel your heartbeat goes boom, boom, boom. But if you feel boom, 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 
boom, boom, boom, boom. So that's palpitation. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a racing heartbeat, like boom, 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 boom. It's regular, but it's beating so fast. So that's the one I'm talking right, about. The second one, again, with diet is stimulants, like alcohol, nicotine, caffeine. If you excessively consume that, that can suddenly give you a racing heartbeat. And that can be at any time of the day. But I find out that most of this um, abnormal, the racing heartbeat happens in the night, suddenly out of sleep, because at that time, your body is going through metabolism, going through activities. And then when there is an increase or, or low chemical or resource that your body needs, it can trigger that racing heartbeat okay so stimulants alcohol caffeine nicotine can cause a racing habit and then let's look at the electrolytes we have the potassium we have the sodium we have the magnesium we also have the calcium so those four uh, compounds or electrolytes or minerals magnesium all this are involved in regulating your heartbeat for our heart we have what is called a pacemaker that you can liken that to uh you can liken that to the engine in a car yeah so your everyone has a pacemaker in their heart so you can liken that to, to an engine of a car so the pacemaker receives impulses from the nervous system and controls heartbeat and this electrolytes, the potassium, the sodium, magnesium, calcium, are involved in regulating how your the pacemaker sends impulses through the heart and regulate blood pressure and heart rate. So when this chemicals like your potassium is low or the sodium is low or the magnesium is low, it can be high, it can be low, they can trigger racing heartbeat. But most of the time, these electrolytes are low to trigger um, a racing heartbeat. So how are you gonna know if this is low for you? So you, if you, if you, um, if you, like whenever you perform a yearly physical with your doctor, with your primary care provider, they check all those electrolytes. Make sure you're asking. Your doctor can say, oh, your blood, works, your blood work is good. Fine. Tell them I need a printout. So that way you know where you are. Ask for a printout of your yearly physical, of your blood work, so that you can see where your numbers are. Because sometimes the numbers might be normal, but at the lower end of normal. So that way if you see the number like potassium, normal is 3.5 to 5 you can be at say 3.5 which is a lower end of normal and at that time you know it's almost low and then you can implement diet like the potassium like the banana avocado vegetables nuts that are rich in potassium so make sure you know your numbers also okay and if you don't if you find if you don't eat at least a cup to two cups of fresh vegetables in a day you might be lacking in this electrolytes i mean the potassium the uh, magnesium the sodium i remember sodium is we get that also in our salt but it's in our diet that's why we shouldn't consume too much of salt we add salt in our meals but we make sure we don't add too much okay we have a certain milligram that we should consume in a day all right so that's for the electrolytes and then another thing that can cause a racing heartbeat is if you exercised too much before bedtime like if you had like a very strenuous exercise before bedtime that can also trigger your sympathetic nervous system so your heart rate shoots up while you're sleeping so um usually what happens when your heart rate shoots up it means your sympathetic nervous system is at work okay but when you when when you relax your heart rate is down it means the parasympathetic nervous system is in charge so how how can you control this is to make sure the para is to find a way of causing the parasympathetic system to kick in 
all right so another cause of um, a racing heartbeat are medications we have stimulants in medications like the cough syrups there are so another cause of a racing heartbeat is um, when you are low in vitamin B1 when you're low in vitamin B1 or when your stress stress can reduce can sorry can cause a racing heartbeat when it increases cortisol a stress hormone when it's increased in the blood your your heart can race faster abnormally faster and another cause is when you have hyperthyroidism so you're not able to find that except you do a blood work so if you if you consistently notice you wake up in the night or suddenly out of nowhere in the day your heart rate begins to race you need to have a blood work uh, a blood workup or like a, a blood workup with your primary care provider so that they can know what vitamins or electrolytes that you're missing that you are lacking so like i said it can also be as a result of an overactive thyroid so that they're gonna check to see if you have they're gonna check your levels to make sure you're not having high part like high overactive thyroid activity and then another one which is very very common especially in young in young um young people is electromagnetic field exposure so that's called the emf exposure so like when we have a lot of um wireless or um wi-fi exposure connections in the home you can get exposed to those electromagnetic field that can they can have an effect on your cardiac not just your cardiac function also your mental function because you're gonna have like anxiety you're gonna wake up with a headache feeling tired so example is if you are someone who sleeps with your phone charging right beside you your ipads or you're sleeping close to a computer or close to your router so all those gadgets electrical gadgets that emit emf can trigger a racing heartbeat so if if you're gonna sleep make sure you have your phone either turned off or you put it in an airplane mode or put them away like 20 to 30 feet away from you put it somewhere away from you and not charging if if not charging if you must put your phone close to your bed put it in Air, um, airplane mode and not charging do not leave your gadgets charging close by you especially if they are Wi-Fi connected like connected to a router so make sure you put all that away from you when you're sleeping because the EMF emission from those gadgets can trigger a racing habit so that's one way and the other way you can correct this is we have what is a very simple way like when you wake up and you have like a you have um, that racing heart beat a very simple way or simple thing you can do is to do the deep breathing exercise I'm gonna teach you guys in a different video how to do a deep breathing exercise and the other behaviors you can implement is stop eating late at night no deep fried food eliminate deep fried food make sure you're going on low carb carbohydrates staying away from refined carbohydrate and a lot of other stuff like addictive additives in food colorings um sweetness artificial sweetness so all those all, all those can also trigger a racing habit so you should stay away from that and also take your coffee in moderation okay and then when you exercise make sure you're watching your heart you're watching your heartbeat and uh, make sure you're watching your heartbeat to see you're not uh, overdoing it and take time time to uh, relax or wind down after exercise after exercising then keep away those electrical gadget away from your sleeping area okay and do not sleep in areas where you have a router connected you can turn off your router i know there are other ways that you can like um i think shield your routers so you can find out from your um 
from your career from the, your Wi-Fi career network so those are just simple tips there are other things that can cause a racing heart okay guys so remember these tips that i just gave to you guys is not meant to replace treatment okay if you're having any heart condition make sure you're following up with your primary care provider or your cardiologist and if you notice that these are new symptoms to you and you're pretty much healthy like you don't have any underlying heart disease and this symptoms of a, or these symptoms of a racing heartbeat is something new to you implement these tips that I gave you and if the symptoms keeps occurring more frequently you need to follow up with your primary care doctor or with a cardiologist that way they can do a cardiac workup to make sure something else is not going on with your heart okay so this few tips I hope it helps and if you have any question, feel free to shoot me that question. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the deep breathing exercise and other things you can do, you know, or the other advantages of deep breathing exercise. So meet me in that video. And if you have any question, like I said, don't forget to shoot me that question. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and please do share this with your family, loved ones, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.